Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Hero Mart in game store in Adventure Quest, giving you some more information about that and a new Hero Mart currency that will be added in the game in the coming week. So I'll give you some more information on that after the intro. And we're back. Okay, so. First things first, Hero Mart was added in the game this Friday, and you can slash join Hero Mart, and I'm pretty sure you can go to a private map of it. I don't know if they put it in Battle On or where they put it. Um, it looks like it's in Battle On. Hey, look, there's a little sneaky delivery sneevel over there. Um, you can talk to this guy, go to the shop. He's got the note of Hero Mart. You can buy that and put it in the bank if you want it. I don't know. That'll probably disappear once the actual merch shop comes here. Um, and you can go to the store, which I'm pretty sure, yeah, that brings you to the Hero Mart webpage. And he talks about Hero Points a little bit. So, and he, <laughs> it's a little bit of dialogue about the Hero Mart items and stuff. So when you go in the store, there's people playing uh, Card Clash here. What's that card game called? I don't know. I don't know what the card game is called, but that's the cards you get for Card Clasher. And, uh... The shop that's another merch shop in here and another link to this store and if you go up here and you can actually click on these and they show you the corresponding items on hero mart so you don't actually get that armor um you don't actually get that armor if you buy this i'm pretty sure you only get the uh legion axe of destiny or legion light of destiny axe i don't think you get the armor i think you have to buy both sides to get the armor i'm pretty sure on that which is uh eighty dollars for both sides because you got to buy this one and the Ardex version of that shirt so that's kind of a little little bit misleading but i'm sure a lot of people would understand you can click on card clasher to buy card clasher a lot of people ask me where you get card clasher and you can buy it on the hero mart store you don't have to go to toys r us they advertise it as being at toys r us and that you can buy this year's calendar you can still buy the 2014 calendar or the 2015 calendar i'm pretty sure you can and yeah there's a bunch of different things you can click on in here you can come in here and check that out yourself if you want to and uh i do have a clip of the house so i will be right back all right i'll show the clip of the house actually i have a video of it it'll be in the description it's called like hero mart um store preview in game store preview uh the link will be in the description to that video if you want to go check out what the house will look like the well what i'm guessing will be the house uh, that's available for hero points. I don't know how you might be able to get it once the hero points come out with like in game maybe. And if you can, I'll be sure to make a video about that on this channel, of course. But there's a bunch of new items coming into the game, and they'll only be able to be acquired via hero points. Hero points are points you earn by purchasing purchasing items on Hero Mart. I can't talk right now, and uh, you get one hero point for every five U.S. dollars you spend. And I think that includes shipping and all that stuff. So if you have to pay like ten dollars to get the item shipped to your house, you're gonna get an extra two hero points, or something close to that. They give an example. So if you buy a twenty dollar T-shirt, you would earn four hero points. If the Hero Mart team adds a few extra points, so you could get even more points. That means you could get at least four points, or maybe up to ten or more hero points from a single order. So you can get quite a few hero points for spending money on the store. I mean it's great deal of money like well not a great deal but it's a considerable amount of money for the items on the hero mart store you can go check it out a lot of them are i think like 25 dollars is like the average 25 30 dollars like the average price of an item on the hero mart store so you get between like four and five points per item on the hero mart store so i'm guessing uh the items i'm gonna be listing off here will cost about between one to maybe at most four points per item that i'm gonna say here uh, so we have a list of items that will be in the merch shop. So the shops right here that don't have any items in them yet. These are getting the items. I think the hero points won't be implemented till uh, later this week. Or not this week, but next week after Sunday is next week. So later next week, we're going to have this new currency in game called Hero Points. And every time you purchase something for the Hero Mart, you'll get some points. Uh, so there'll be a new Hero Mart class and armor set. So probably the armor that the class uses. And yeah, you buy one or, one or both of those. So... I'm guessing the class will probably be the most expensive item in here, right next to the Showcase Villa House, which I'm sure that'll be at quite a few points, probably three or four points each for the class in the house. A Sneevel 
bank pet, a Zard bank pet, a skeleton bank pet, a slime bank pet. That's interesting. Mystic Dragon Conquer, a Mystic Dragon Conquer helmet. Um, so that's an armor and a helmet. Drow Illusionist, which is probably that uh, purple helmet that Elena's been wearing with like the white hair and the elf ears. That's probably the helmet that Elena's been wearing uh, recently. The Drow Wings of Illusion. That sounds pretty cool. The Enhanced Thorn Staff. Actually, let's let's just I'll, let me just put this up on screen for you guys to see it. This is probably a lot easier. So here's the list of items: Legion Paladin Statue House, Infinity Knight Statue. There's quite a few here. I'm not gonna go through them all. Time Travel Bot, and more in-game rewards. You'll be able to see uh, variants of many existing Hero Mart in-game rewards in the merch. And if you already have that item, you'll get it. Um, but there won't be any rare item. There won't be any variants of rare items, of course. And yeah, so hero, po hero points will come with future merchandise as all current merchandise already comes with exclusive gear. So, when they say that, so I, I don't know if these points are going to be backwards compatible. Like, say you just bought, like, I, I heard someone on my stream, like, literally just bought something, like, yesterday or something like that. Or, like, the day before yesterday. And that's kind of crazy that if you just bought something, you're not going to get points. Um, so, hopefully they'll give people points for past purchases because they can see who bought points and like who registered the items on their accounts so hopefully they'll do right by that and yeah uh it's kind of it would be kind of bad if they didn't uh, i might it might be harder than i'm making out to be it might be actually pretty hard to do that but we don't know we'll see i guess in the coming week in, in the future so you'll be able to get points from Maybe new items that are added to the Hero Mart store, or maybe it's only new items, and maybe instead of exclusive in-game, like, classes and armors and weapons, like they've been doing for right now, maybe they're gonna do just Hero Points. Like, you buy, a, you buy like, a t-shirt, and you don't get any in-game item, you just get the Hero Points, which you can then spend on whatever in-game item from this list you would like. Maybe that's how they're gonna do it, and then maybe they'll add new items here every, every like, a uh, few months, and then... You can buy more Hero Mart items to get the new items in game. I it's, it's kind of a mystery how they're doing this so far. They don't really explain it too much, although they do tell you that you'll be getting points for every five USD you spend. So I don't I don't know if that's for every purchase because right here they kind of contradict what they say up there. Well, Hero Mart will come will only come with future merchandise. So that must mean. That must mean all the merchandise, but not the past merchandise. So, like, if you bought something yesterday, you're not going to get points for it. But if you buy, some, but say you bought Cla Card Clasher today, you're not getting points for it. But if you buy it, like, next week, you will get the points for it. I'm guessing that's what that means. And then, not just, like, new items that they put on the store, but, like, all items they put on the store, but not currently. I think that's what that means. So, yeah, and they explain that as all current merchandise comes with with exclusive gear. So I think I think I straightened that out. Hopefully no one's misunderstanding what I'm saying right here cuz I'm kind of mixed up a little bit too. So that's the um that's the information we have on the Hero Mart store. You can read this on the design notes if you want. You got to scroll down a little bit on the design notes, but you you can read that on the design notes if you want to go more in depth. Oh, go live later this month. I've been saying this week. Okay, so it might be this month. So other than that, I have a clip of the house which could be the villa. Uh, for the in-game shop, or this could be earned some other way. I will show that clip right now, and if you want to see the full video, you can check out in the link in the description. Or um, this isn't the official store, of course. It's not like slash join Hero Mart, although that might be in-game. I'll check that at the end of the thing. But this is the house in-game, of course, that we've seen the art for that J6 did this art for this house. It's only three rooms, but this is what the store will look like. I'm guessing they just reused it for a house. Maybe you'll be able to get this house as your house once the Hero Mart store comes out. So I thought I'd upload this. All right. So as you can see from that clip, that there is a house in game. So it might come in the game. I don't know if it'll be the villa that we'll be able to get from with the hero points, but it will be in game eventually. So thanks for watching, guys. Or it might actually not come in game. That might just be something they were testing out for reasons. But so it might not be in game. That might just be a house that they're using for testing. But that's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like. I forgot to record my webcam at this last part for some reason. Sorry about that. And then I'll see you guys all in the next video. Let's go for 100 likes on this. Peace. Click the video in the top right corner if you haven't seen it yet. And I'll see you all in the next one.